Good morning ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the current affairs of 27th february first question is who has been conferred the international gandhi peace prize for 2018 right answer is mr yohi shashakawa so recently mr yohi shashakawa has been conferred the international gandhi peace prize for 2018 mr shashakawa is from japan and he was given this prize for his contribution in leprosy eradication if we talk about gandhi peace prize for 2018 it was given to mr shashakawa for 2017 it was given to ekal abhiyan trust and for 2016 it was jointly given to akshay patra foundation and sulab international and for 2015 it was given to vivekanand kendra if we talk about few other awards recently tagore award for cultural harmony was announced for 2016 it was given to mr ram sutar for 2015 it was given to chayanut which is a organization which promote tagore's work for 2014 it was given to mr rajkumar singh ji singh who is a doyen of manipuri dance apart from that recently gymnast ms simon biles and mr novak jokovic were given loria's world sports awards in addition to that recently dr divya karnad was given Global Future for Nature Award 2019 for her work on marine conservation apart from that recently prime minister mr modi was given seoul peace prize for his contribution to international cooperation and fostering global economic growth additionally recently ms susma swaraj was conferred with grand cross order of civil merit award in spain next question is the first ever skill sathi youth conclave has launched in which of the following cities right answer is bhuneshwar so recently the first ever skill sathi youth conclave has been inaugurated by union skill development minister mr dharmendra pradhan in bhuneshwar in odisha if we talk about odisha recently odisha government launched boat ambulance service in remote areas apart from that recently the fifth international dam safety conference also held in odisha in bhuneshwar odisha was also in news as chief minister mr navin patnaik launched kalya chhatrabhati scholarship scheme if we talk about kalya it stands for krishak assistance for livelihood and income augmentation so this kalya chhatrabhati scholarship scheme is for the kids of farmers apart from that odisha government also started pitha initiative the objective of this initiative is to ensure transparent delivery of government services Next question is which Indian grandmaster has lifted the 2019 Cannes International Open Trophy right answer is Mr Abhijit Gupta Mr Abhijit Gupta has lifted the 2019 Cannes International Open Trophy it is a chess tournament if we talk about Cannes it is a city in France the capital of France is Paris and France was in news recently as it has introduced GAFA tax GAFA stands for Google, Apple, Facebook, Amazon. Apart from that, France was also in news because of Yellow Vest protest. The headquarters of FATF is also in France in Paris. FATF stands for Financial Action Task Force. It was formed in 1989. The objective of this task force is to combat money laundering and terror financing. It was in news recently because Israel has become 38th member of FATF. Apart from that, recently FATF has decided to keep Pakistan in grey list. Presently, two countries are in the black list of FATF. These are Iran and North Korea. In addition to that, the headquarter of UNESCO is also in Paris in France. UNESCO stands for United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. Recently, UNESCO was in news because US and Israel formally left UNESCO. USA was also in news. As recently US President Mr Donald Trump signed executive order SPD4 that means special policy directive 4 to establish space force as a new military service within air force so this new space force will be the part of air force department next question is bandipur tiger reserve which is in news recently is located in which of the following states right answer is karnataka so the bandipur tiger reserve is located in Karnataka it was in news because of horrific forest fire incident 
If we talk about tiger, 29 July is International Tiger Day. Apart from that, recently the 2019 International Stock Taking Conference on Tiger Conservation held in New Delhi. In addition to that, recently Telangana state government has decided to set up anti poaching tiger protection force. If we talk about tiger conservation efforts in our country, Project Tiger was initiated in 1973. NTCA, that means National Tiger Conservation Authority, is the implementing authority. It is a statutory authority and it is under Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Next question is which Indian politician has authored the book India in Distress? Right answer is Miss Mamta Banerjee. So this book India in Distress has been authored by West Bengal Chief Minister Miss Mamta Banerjee. If we talk about few other books which were in news recently, the Paradoxical Prime Minister is a book by Mr. Sashi Tharoor. The Accidental Prime Minister is a book by Mr. Sanjay Baru. Moving on, Moving Forward is a book by Mr. Venkaiah Naidu. We Are Displaced is a book by Ms. Malala Yousafzai. The Last Girl is a book by Ms. Nadia Murad. Paisamas Are Forgiving is a book by Ms. Twinkle Khanna. India Ahead 2025 and Beyond is a book by Mr. Vimal Jalan. The Girl in Room 105 is a book by Mr. Chetan Bhagat. Law, Justice and Power is a book by Mr. Mulchan Sarma. Things to Leave Behind is a book by Ms. Namita Gokhale. Simplicity and Wisdom is a book by Mr. Dinesh Sahara. And Changing India is a book by our former Prime Minister, Mr. Manmohan Singh. Next question is, Afghanistan has launched new export route to India through which of the following ports? Right answer is Chahabar. So, recently, Afghanistan has launched new export route to India through strategic Chahabar port. So, this is Kandla port. And this is Chahbar port in Iran and through this via highway through Jahedan, it will be connected to Afghanistan. Earlier, the export route was through Pakistan. However, Pakistan has obstructed that route in one way or other. If we talk about Chahbar port, it is a joint venture between India and Iran. This will improve India's connectivity to Afghanistan and to the rest of Central Asia. If we talk about Iran, recently Iran conducted Vilayat 97 exercise. It was conducted between Strait of Hormuz and Indian Ocean. If we talk about Strait of Hormuz, it is between Persian Gulf and Gulf of Oman. Apart from that, Iran was also in news as recently it launched first semi-heavy missile equipped submarine. It was launched by Iranian President Mr. Hassan Rouhani. Recently, Iran also completed 40 years of Islamic revolution. The name of this submarine is Fateh. Iran was also in news because of Instex. Instex is a instrument in support of trade exchanges. It is a payment channel set up by European countries to continue trade with Iran despite UN sanctions. If we talk about geographical location of Iran, it is a West Asian country. The capital of Iran is Tehran and the currency of Iran is Iranian Rial. Next question is, recently India has been invited to 46th session of foreign ministers OIC. In this context, which of the following is not a correct statement? Right answer is, India is member of OIC. This is not a correct statement. So recently, India has been invited for 46th session of meeting of foreign ministers of Organization of Islamic Cooperation. This meeting will be in Abu Dhabi in UAE and our external affairs minister, Ms. Susma Savraj, will be the guest of honor. So this is first time that a leader of non-Muslim country has been invited to OIC conference. So this is a stupendous diplomatic achievement for our country. If we talk about OIC, OIC stands for Organization of Islamic Cooperation. The headquarter of OIC is in Saudi Arabia. As you can see, the green countries are the member of OIC. And this, this is our country, which is not in green. That means we are not the member of this organization. These three are the official languages of OIC. These are Arabic, English and French. Next question is, which country has recently introduced its new currency RTGS dollar? Right answer is Zimbabwe. So recently, Zimbabwe has launched new currency. It is RTGS dollar. That means real-time gross settlement dollar. After the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe announced measures to resolve the chronic monetary crisis in the country. If we talk about Zimbabwe, it is an African country. The capital of Zimbabwe is Harare. 
This is Mauritius and the Prime Minister of Mauritius, Mr. Pravind Jugnath, was the chief guest of Pravasi Bharti Divas event. This is Madagascar and recently Mr. Andre Rezoilina became the new president of Madagascar. Next question is what is the theme of 2019 IWA World Congress? Right answer is Brand Dharma. So in Kerala, the International Advertising Association hosted the 44th edition of IWA World Congress 2019. The theme of event was Brand Dharma. If we talk about Kerala, it was in news because of Sabrimala Ayappa Temple. Recently, Kerala was also in news as women in Kerala formed 620 km long human chain in the support of gender equality and access to Sabrimala Ayappa Temple. Apart from that, Kerala Chief Minister Mr. Pinarayi Vijayan also launched India's largest startup ecosystem. Kerala also launched K-Swift. K-Swift stands for Kerala Single Window Interface for Fast Transparent Clearances. In addition to that, recently Kerala became first state to set up price monitoring and research unit to track the violation of prices of medicines and medical devices. In addition to that, recently Kerala State Police Chief created history as it launched KP Boat. It is a humanoid robot launched by Kerala State Police Force. Next question is, which of the following states has become the India's first state to have raised a special dog squad to detect leaker consignment? Right answer is Bihar. So recently, Bihar has become the first state in India which has raised its own dog squad to detect leaker consignments as leaker is banned in Bihar. If we talk about Bihar, it was also in news as recently Bihar government announced Universal Old Age Pension Scheme. The name of pension scheme is Mukhyamantri Vridhijan Pension Yojana. Apart from that, recently Silao Khaja of Bihar got the GI tag. GI stands for Geographical Indication. In addition to that, the Shahi Lichi of Bihar also got GI tag. Recently, Mr. Ashutosh Aman was in news. He is also from Bihar. He recently became the highest wicket taker in single season of Ranji Trophy. If we talk about Ranji Trophy, it was won by Vidharba. And recently, Vidharba also won the Irani Cup tournament. Thank you and that's all for the day.